Coach Tabby 26 is a classic design, and the introduction of the Pillow Tabby in 2021 garnered attention from millennials and Gen Zers alike. But let's be honest, everybody loves the Pillow Tabby, but the one complaint I've been hearing is that it does not fit as much as the original. Since I have both, I decided I will put an end to this debate once and for all. So if you want to see which one fits the most, just keep watching. Hey sis, my name is Dre and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. Over here, we talk about luxury and contemporary handbags, lifestyle, and just staying fly on a budget. So if those are things that you're into, you should definitely subscribe to this channel. But anyway, I wanted to talk today about the controversy between the pillow and the regular tabby by coach. Now, I've heard a lot of people complain about the pillow tabby not fitting as much. And most of the complaints are because of the actual padding that makes the pillow. People are saying that that padding takes up space in the bag. So I thought I would see for myself because I'm just kind of confused as to how two bags that are the same size could fit totally different things so let's just take a look i wanted to first start by going over the dimensions so the coach these are coming from the coach website i did not measure these myself so coach is saying that the tabby measures two and one fourth inches in length six inches in height and it's three and one fourth inches wide so this is my tabby 26 i got this in the color oxblood and i purchased this bag when the tabby was released so this is one of the few things that I purchased and paid retail for from Coach. Um, and at the time that I bought this, I think it was either $350 or $395. So um, it's gone up since then. But we won't go over the particulars. I'm sure you guys are familiar with the tabby. It's got a back pocket. It's got a front pocket. And then you've got that, that center compartment that everybody complains about. And then the slip pocket on the back. This is the microfiber oxblood interior. And of course, the hardware is the brass. So then if we look at the pillow tabby, now this I did not pay retail for. It took me a minute to actually get into the pillow tabby. And by the time I jumped on a bandwagon, the colors that I wanted were no longer available from Coach. So this was something that I had to get pre-loved. And I got this from a seller, I believe, off Poshmark. And... I know that she now retails for $550. I paid $220, $225 for this. So as you can see, the pillow tabby does not have the back pocket. It does have a front pocket, but it does not have the slip pocket on the back like the original tabby. So we are here really <clears throat> to end this debate. I'm just confused as to why people are saying this bag doesn't fit as much. Now, the website does say it's a little smaller, so it's a little shorter and not quite as uh, wide as the regular tabby. But if you look at them side by side, they look really similar in size, right? And actually the puffiness makes the pillow look bigger. So let's just see what fits. So we're gonna start with the pillow tabby since this is the one people complaining about as far as face. So let's see here. My phone case. So I'm gonna put I'm going to start in the center compartment. So the phone case is going to go in the center compartment. And let's see here. My uh, compact mirror, I'll put that here in the center compartment. And that's really all I want to put in there. So I'll zip that up. Now we're going to do the mini post shed. I think I'm going to stick it in the front compartment. No, I'm going to stick it in the back. Mini post shed is going to go in the back. And then I'm going to stick my six ring key holder next to it, but it will have to stand up vertically like that. Um, my Gucci card case, I will put it in the front compartment. My uh, business card holder from Brighton, I will stick that also in the front compartment next to my card case. I've got a protein bar. I'll stick that in here as well. Y'all, I'm old school. I still have a halo. Stick that in here. And then this was my favorite summer fragrance this year. This is a 724 by Maison Francis Kirk de Jean. Uh, I love this so much so that I had to have a sample size just to carry with me in my handbag. So I'm going to stick this in here. 
And then my Gucci sunglasses. I, I don't know if they'll fit. Let's see. So this is what we looking like so far. We've got protein bar. That's it. I don't think these glasses will fit. Let's see. So if I wanted to squeeze my glasses in here, I could stick them on top, but let's see if this is going to close. So it will close. It's tight, but it'll close. And as you can see, the pulling, because this bag is stuffed. So let's see how it would look, how this stuff would work out in the original tabby. Okay. So everything is empty. So we're going to pull out the original tabby now. So on here, I think I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put my phone and my compact wallet in the center compartment. But I'm also going to put my car case in the center compartment. Technically, that's where it should be anyway. The compartment that zips or that's the most secure. So that's that. So let's see here. We've got a protein bar. I'm going to stick that in the back. Along with my mini pochette. Now, I don't think I showed what was in here. In the mini pochette, all I have is uh, tissues, the Fenty uh, gloss bomb, and Fenty Glow. I've got a hand sanitizer, a tin of Nivea hand cream, and the Burt's Bees uh, vanilla bean chapstick. Like this... I rarely change what's in here. Like, this is kind of what I keep in the mini pochette. So, whenever I do a what's in my bag, if I'm switching stuff out, if I have this mini pochette with me, nine times out of ten, it's going to be the same stuff in here every time. Because that's kind of just what I normally tend to put in here. So, just kind of show you what's in here. So, we're going to stick this in the back next to my protein bar. And then you see I've got the phone and my compact mirror and my card case in the center compartment. So I'm going to put this Brighton, um, my business card holder in the front compartment along with my key holder. So I think I'm going to stick it on top. Y'all, this ain't looking good. This is not looking good at all, sis. My sample look already i'm not able to close this bag let me just go ahead and just put stuff in here and just see what happens the glasses are definitely a no-go they're definitely not gonna fit but like i can't close this bag the way i have the stuff in here so let's see if i remove things from the center compartment if that will make a difference. So I took out the compact mirror and the card case. And I'm gonna stick them up front. And still, they don't, this ain't working. So this is what it looks like if I rearrange this stuff. See this? It's nowhere near able to close. If I take out the mini pochette, then it's perfect. But I can't close this bag. It doesn't matter how I arrange things in here, it will not close with the mini pochette inside. Yeah, it won't. Yeah, it's not. It's not going to close with the mini pochette. So, 
with that being said, I think I've actually proven that the people who are saying that the pillow tabby is not as spacious as the regular tabby may not. I'm willing to bet they may not have a regular tabby. Um, I'm because there's no way this this bag is much smaller. Even though the dimensions on this are smaller, this bag holds much less. And I know why. It's because it's so structured. It doesn't have any give whatsoever. So you will not be able to fit as much in the regular Tabby 26 as you can in the Pillow Tabby, despite what everybody is saying. So here we go. The Pillow Tabby versus the regular Tabby 26. So it is clear from this video that the tabby, the pillow tabby has much more give and flexibility and you are able to fit more in here than in the classic tabby. However, both of these bags are beautiful. Both of them are well made and great quality and I enjoy carrying both. So what's your opinion? Do you have either of the tabbies and what is your preference? Please comment down below. If you like this video, please hit the like, share it and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when I upload new videos. And until the next time we see each other, take care of yourself. Bye.